Biggie baby. No matter the currency. Hey Mzansi, welcome to Mzansi Scenes. So it is becoming a norm nowadays where celebrities are blasting their house helpers on social media. Latest celebrity to do so is Faith Ngeti who took to social media to slam her house helper. Some time ago, Faith was on the internet blasting her previous house helpers who she alleges stole from her. According to Faith, the Malawian family took valuable items belonging to her husband before fleeing the country. Taken to Twitter, Faith vented about a situation she is currently facing with the new maid. This is how the story goes. Guys, Suzani, or auntie is great at what she does, ne? but for some reason, I get a weird vibe when I ask her to assist me, but I thought I won't address it because it could just be in my head. Before I carry on, she was referred to us by her family members. So we just hired her without meeting her. Our mistake, we are told that she was 40, but when she arrived, I found out that she was actually 50 and she gave me a whole explanation about her ID faults. Okay, fine, I let it slide. Time went on and auntie is always complaining about being sick, therefore can she rest? Okay, cool. My mom would give her meds and we obviously didn't mind until it started happening a lot. I told her that when Ubaba has a meeting at home, can she please offer guests something to drink? And she gave off that vibe and told me that she doesn't know how to make tea and coffee, so I taught her. That day I left, when I came back, she expressed how tired she was. I asked why, and she said that she's been serving Ubaba and guests the whole day. Later, I asked my husband, and he said she only brought the drinks once. Fast forward, she chose to never offer guests something to drink. I let it slide, and I decided I'll just do it. Now, now, let's talk about this vibe that she gives off. Now, when Ubaba asks her to do something, she does it with such optimism, but when I ask her, she drags her feet and literally looks like she could say no. She even goes as far as complaining about her knees and expresses how she's so terrified of the stairs. Yesterday was when I was livid, gay. I'm running so late for work and I can't seem to find the top I want to wear, but in my hand, I'm holding the brown version of the exact top. I ask my husband to help me look for my hair glue and I come downstairs and auntie's sitting on the couch. So I ask her to please help me look for this exact same top but the black version. She first acted like she couldn't hear me. So I walk to her and I ask her to help me look for this exact top but black and I'm saying this while handing her the top. Her response is where should I look for it? I say upstairs. Be in mind, she's still sitting. She then says, but where? Because Mina, I've never seen this top and I've never washed it. So how would I know where it is? At this point, I'm so angry and I'm thinking, how am I supposed to answer that question? Because if I knew where to look for it, I would have found it and I wouldn't be asking you to help me. I keep quiet and I snatch the top off her and at this point, it's evident that I'm upset. As I'm walking away, she says, but Mina, I'm just asking because I don't know your things, so I don't understand where I must look for it. I turn around and say, Andy, if I knew where to look for it, I wouldn't be here asking for your help because I would have found it. Bear in mind, she never moved from that couch. Even though I'm running late, I looked for it and I found it and ended up being 30 minutes late. As Anzelo is looking for the car keys, I come downstairs and find her crying literal tears and she's explaining to my husband what happened. My husband was upstairs looking for my glue at the time this whole thing happened. Husband is so confused at this point, but I didn't have time to talk. I come back and me and auntie are beefing in my house. She's not talking to me and I'm not talking to her. She even sitting on the other side of the house. Husband gets home and we spoke. He tells me that she told him a version of what happened, leaving out the fact that I gave her a top and asked her to look for the exact top. She then went to tell him that she's shocked at how I spoke to her like she's a slave and she's just here to help. See Bambisana. She doesn't understand where the disrespect comes from and she has kids my age. Now what annoys me is that I'm now feeling uncomfortable in my own home. There's a big elephant in the room and I don't know where to even start. The only reason why I've never addressed any prior issues I've had with her is because umund umdala and I really didn't want to keep complaining to my husband because I felt that this really doesn't concern him. I'm here to build a warm home for us and I can't be stressing him with petty things because she treats him like a king. He was honestly shocked when i started telling him everything what do i do now some twitter users advised faith to fire the house helper as they believe she probably has plans for a husband with her own kids all right that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe comment down below and hit the notification bell